Good afternoon. I think we are ready to uh, start. Uh, it is a great pleasure uh, to be on board on the, the USS George H. W. Bush. Admiral Munch, uh, there you are. Um, uh, Vice Admiral Ishii, and uh, you are over there. Yeah? <laughs> and uh, Rear Admiral Velez and Captain Pollard. So uh, it's great to, uh, to see you uh, all here and to be uh, at this uh, impressive uh, aircraft uh, carrier. Thanks to all of you and to the crew for hosting us today. This is an impressive vessel uh, and it leads an impressive carrier strike group currently under NATO command, a demonstration of US capability and commitment to the alliance. This carrier sends uh, a powerful message of allied deterrence every day. She keeps our sea uh, lanes open and secure and contributes to NATO's increased vigilance um, from uh, uh, the Baltic to the Mediterranean and the Black uh, Seas. In recent years, she ha has also uh, been part of our critical uh, fight against ISIS in Iraq and uh, Syria. This carrier now leads Neptune Strike uh, 2022. This NATO deployment includes over 80 aircraft, 14 ships, and around 6,000 personnel from 24 NATO allies and partners, including Finland and Sweden. Neptune Strike uh, tests our readiness to deter and defend across the Euro-Atlantic area. Just a few days ago, US Navy F-18s flew from this carrier to Lithuania, working alongside our allies, France, Latvia and Hungary along uh, the way. And last week, uh, your F-18s joined Canadian fighter aircraft for patrols over Romania, refueled in the air by Dutch tanker aircraft. So this exercise is a perfect example of the transatlantic bond, Europe and North America working together in NATO. It demonstrates our ability to rapidly reinforce our allies and project power across the alliance. NATO is a defensive alliance. Our deterrence prevents conflict and preserves peace. Our strength helps to prevent any miscalculation by sending a clear message. NATO will protect and defend every inch of allied territory. Turning uh, to Ukraine, Russia's brutal war and illegal uh, war uh, is at the pivotal moment. President Putin is responding to his failures on the battlefield uh, with more aggression. Strikes on civilians, on civilian energy infrastructure and drone and missile attacks on residential areas. Russia now falsely claims Ukraine is preparing to use a radiological dirty bomb on its own territory. NATO analysts reject this transparently false allegation. Russia often accuses others for what they intend to do themselves. We have seen this pattern before from Syria to Ukraine. Russia must not use false pretexts for further escalation. The world, the world is watching closely. In recent days, we have also seen Iran provide military support to the Russian war effort. This is unacceptable. No country should be helping the aggressor in an illegal war. So I welcome that allies and the European Union are implementing strong sanctions on Tehran. NATO is not party to the war in Ukraine, but we will continue to support a fundamental right to self-defense for as long as it takes. Let me close by thanking the remarkable women and men of the George H. W. Bush Carrier Strike Group. As the motto of this ship says, you are all freedom at work. 
working alongside many others from across North America and Europe to keep us all safe. Standing together in NATO, we will continue to defend our freedom and our way of life against threats from any direction. Thank you very much. And then I'm ready to take a few questions here and also do some one-on-one -on -one afterwards.